In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to easily change your eye color. So hi guys, welcome back to a new Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny, you can find me on our Facebook page at Retard Pro. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to easily change someone's eye color with Photoshop. Let's get started. Okay, so as you guys can see, I've already loaded here the image into Photoshop. In the Layers panel, we just have the single layer zero. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer here just to see everything really nice and big. And we can directly just work here in the peeping pixels area. <laughs> okay, so as you guys can see, zoomed in a little bit. The next step now, just to change eye color and also to get an awesome pop onto the eyes, we're going to go to an adjustment layer. So simply go to adjustments. I'm going to go to selective color, select selective color and here in our red tones that will normally look like that on your screen now so we're going to start out just basically masking out the mask a little bit so my first step that I do is to also already see a pretty awesome mask is go in the channels here in my color channels all the way to the neutrals so in neutrals we can take the blacks and push them all the way up as you will see that will brighten our complete image and that's what I just said now. I'm going to invert now my mask down here. So I'm going to press Command I. That will change it to a black hidden mask. Now I'm going to press B for brush. And as well, I'm going to change my brush size a little bit. I'm working with the Vacuum Continuous 5 tablet. You can find more of that on our website. Um, yeah, I'm changing my brush size really frequently and quickly here. You can also go to the top here and just change your brush size here at the top. Also, you can press Control Alt together to make that a little bit bigger or smaller. Yeah, okay, let's get to the point. We're also going to change the hardness, say, around to 60%, so it's a little bit feathered on the sides. Now with the brush, I'm just basically with a white foreground color, 100% opacity here. Let's make that 100%. We're just going to brush that in here on the eyes. So make my brush a little bit smaller as well, so I'm able via my board here to change the brush sizes really quickly. Okay, a little bit further. A little bit more. I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer with the Z. Press B again for the brush. And we can feather the brush even a little bit further. So again, hold Control Alt together. And I'm going to feather them around to 30%. Okay, then also going to just brush again here. And that's the reason why we already changed the neutral tones. Just took the blacks all the way up so we can actually see where we are painting here on the mask and what's happening. Okay, let's go over with Spacebar to the other side. And as well over here, I'm just going to brush out the pupils again. Okay, and a little bit further. Okay, and obviously, don't worry. If you do mistake, this is a mask. You can always go back and clean stuff up again afterwards. Okay, so I already have my decent selection here. In a way, if you want to press Q, you get a selection for that. Okay, now what I'm going to do is again press Z, go all the way out. Obviously, I still need to select the mask here. Get out of Q mode again. Okay, so just back to normal. Anyways, what I'm going to do now, as you guys can see, I've selected it on my mask here on the right-hand side. You can see these little small dots here. Next step that I'm going to do is go back to my adjustments here, not to the properties. So selecting again the adjustments, not your mask. And I'm going to take the blacks all the way down. Maybe just a little bit to minus 7 because I want to keep a little bit of a pop already in there. As you guys can see, it brightens them up a little bit. But it's already losing a little bit of those nice black contrasty blacks in there. Don't worry about that. We're going to get them later again. So again, before and after. Okay, so the easiest way now to change your color as well in your neutral tones, you can either now also obviously work in your other channels to be even more creative with changing eye colors. I'm going to work just with my neutral tones. So for the start, I'm going to push the cyans up a little bit. As you guys can see, it also gets a little bit more green and a little bit more cyan. So either to the right hand side, you can push those a little bit further or left a little bit red, but those don't look that real. So for that, I would most probably go into my black channels again and play a little bit for the reds. Let's for the moment now keep it to cyan a little bit. I'm going to push the cyan a little bit further. Let's also press Z, zoom in a little bit closer so we can actually see when stuff is blowing out and when stuff looks unreal. Okay, a little bit out again. So cyan maybe just to plus 21. That's good for now. Magentas, let's have a look as well. You want to take it all the way to the green. Well, that's a little bit too far. Maybe to the left making them a little purple again. And we're still now looking at all the detail and trying to still keep it real, right? So don't overdo it. Okay, let's take them maybe a little bit down again. So maybe plus five, okay. So again, over there, you can also change color. 
Then again, yellow, you can also use the yellow slider, left and right to either make them green, blue, whatever. Obviously, just check that you're not overdoing it. So you're just doing it in a little bit. For now, I'm going to keep it maybe just to a really nice cyan. So I don't want to change it too far, but I'm going to take the cyan up a little bit further so they really, really pop. Okay, a little bit more magenta here, so a little bit more blue. Taking the cyan down again a bit. And also, let's have a look here before and after, before and after. So already giving it a really nice color in there. And now, as I said also with our blacks here, let's also take the black um, just in the neutral tones again, just a little bit further up so that brightens the eyes a little bit further. But obviously, we're losing those nice blacks in here. Now we're going to get to those. We're going to go back into our color channels here. We're going to switch to black. And before I even get to the blacks, let me quickly show you here, guys, as well. You can also get some really nice adjustments and really nice color tones in the shadow parts as well. Especially if you see this, if I'm pushing the cyan. Okay, this is a little bit creative now again. But if you push to the right, they're going to get a little bit darker. As well with magenta, have a look here, you can darken those rings a little bit. What I normally do, let's keep this to zero again, I just take the blacks and push them up a little bit. And as you guys can see already, have a look how this awesome black contrast comes back again into your eyes. Obviously, if you're going to push it too far, it's going to go too dark. So what I do is just maybe plus, yeah, say 8 or 10. And that's around it already, maybe 12. All right, that looks good for the image. It always depends on your image as well. Let's have a look again here before and after, before and after. Now how great looks that really? And that's a simple one click or actually just a few simple clicks here with one simple layer. Again, your before and after, before and after. And again, don't forget, you can also go back here into your color channels here and work in other colors as well to change the whole saturation and the color of your eye. Okay, yeah, so that is basically all for today's Photoshop tutorial, guys. A simple technique here, how to change your eye color. Then as well, have a look on our channel. We have tons of awesome Photoshop tutorials showing you guys some awesome techniques and quick ways in Photoshop. Yeah, hit us up with a thumbs, support us. Then as well, don't forget to comment down below. Let us know what you want to see on this channel in the future. Don't miss out on our question on today's, and I'll see you guys all next week for a new Photoshop tutorial. Bye-bye.